This tutorial introduces you to ProQuest Legislative Insight, a database that compiles legislative histories for federal laws and provides links to searchable PDFs of legislative history documents. You can find ProQuest Legislative Insight under the Online Databases link on the library homepage. Just click on the link, click on P, and then click on ProQuest Legislative Insight. While Legislative Insight has a variety of features, this tutorial will focus on finding a compiled legislative history. To search for a history, all you need is the basic search box. For purposes of this tutorial, let's assume we are looking for the legislative history of the Controlling the Assault of Non-Solicited Pornography and Marketing Act of 2003, or the CAN-SPAM Act. When searching for a known law, you can enter the public law number the statutes at large citation, or the enacted bill number into the basic search box. So for example, if we knew that the public law number for the CAN-SPAN Act is PL 108-187, we just enter it here, 108-187. And here, public law PL 108-187. Alternatively, if you only know the popular name of a law, you can simply type the name into the search box. Legislative Insight will anticipate your search as you type. So we'll start typing controlling the assault, and you can see it fills in the rest. Then we just press the magnifying glass icon to search, and then select the desired law from the results list. In this case, there's only one result. And there it is. Here's the legislative history for our law. You can print or save this page with the list of legislative history documents by clicking on the digital PDF ID link here. At the top of this page, we find some general information about the law, such as its popular name, the date it was approved, and the congressional session. Here it indicates that this law was passed during the first session of the 108th Congress indicated by 108-1. The public law PDF ID link opens a PDF of the official version of the law as it appears in the United States Statute at Large publication. USCS shows us where this law is codified in the United States Code. The amended acts section indicates whether this law amends a prior law, in this case, the Communications Act of 1934. Subject terms are tags assigned by the editors who compiled this legislative history. These can be useful when you don't know the popular name of the act or the citation. The bills section lists all versions of the bill, including each draft of the enacted legislation and any companion or related bills. Companion bills are similar or identical legislation introduced to promote simultaneous consideration of the measure in both chambers of Congress. Related bills generally refers to bills on the same subject that were introduced in the same congressional session or in an earlier session. The different versions of the bill can be useful for tracking language changes as the bill was amended. If we scroll down, we come to the References section. This includes links to the Congressional Record, committee reports, hearings, and miscellaneous publications. Click on the digital PDF links to find a searchable copy of each document. The Congressional Record is the official record of Congress's proceedings and debates. It may include statements by a bill's sponsor, transcripts of discussions for or against it, and explanations of vague or unclear provisions. Reports may include committee reports or conference reports. After a bill is introduced, it is referred to the committee charged with reviewing bills in the area of law that the bill addresses. The committee may then refer the bill to a specialized subcommittee. Committee reports include a detailed analysis of the proposed legislation and the committee's recommendations. Where there are differing House and Senate versions of a bill, a conference committee may be appointed to draft a compromise bill that both chambers can accept. The conference report includes recommendations explaining how differences in the two versions of the bill were resolved. Committee reports and conference reports in particular are often considered the most important source for determining legislative intent. 
Gold star icons in ProQuest Legislative Insight identify the most recent House and Senate reports and the conference report, if available. Committees often conduct hearings to gather testimony concerning proposed legislation. Not all hearings are published, and because they tend to reflect the views of interested parties rather than those of legislators, are not considered a persuasive source for determining legislative intent. Many histories will include a number of miscellaneous publications, which include things such as reports by the Congressional Research Service, a nonpartisan agency within the Library of Congress that provides research and analysis on public policy issues. They're not technically a part of a legislative history. Legislative Insight includes links at the bottom of the page to presidential signing statements, which are written statements issued by the president upon signing a bill into law. As you can see when we scroll down, there is no signing statement for this law. For more detailed information on legislative histories, review the library's research guide on compiling a federal legislative history, located under the Research Guides section on the library's homepage. And don't forget, you can always stop by the reference desk or contact a reference librarian if you need help.